next guest. He moved here about uh, from New York about four months ago. His interests are a bit out of the ordinary. And in a relationship, he insists that a woman worship the ground he walks on. I find that hard to believe. Please welcome Matthew Sewage. tell me so i guess you did you say i that? guess i did if uh, yeah. you read it i've heard of tears and pants but i mean come on matthew gee man, you lost the whole side of that baby <laughs> yeah does this worshiping the ground work does it work both ways by yes the way? it definitely works both ways that sounds so bad the way you said it but um it's no, like i was only, i, would, I, would I was only in, saying what you repeating what you said i don't know if i said that but um i guess i did it's um it's like more like a love thing if i if they love me as much as i love them it's totally cool yeah, well, that's what I want. Yeah. Are, are you finding many women that feel that way about you? Fine, you find some, but, you know, I mean, long-term relationships never seem to work with me, but the ones I don't find, I just Why don't get along that, with. Why is that, you think? Why is that? I don't know. It's, um, I guess it just never seems to pan out. They don't like the things I do. I don't like the things they do. Now, I've asked this question to most people, well, from the West Coast as well as the East Coast and so on, but do you find a big difference between women from coast to coast? <laughs> um, well, surprisingly... You don't meet that many L.A. women out here. I meet more New York women out here than I do Well, in that's LA. probably true. A lot of people here right, are they, from other yeah, parts of the so, country, yeah. But that's cool. New York women are cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Going to take a look at the women that Matthew had to choose from. Now, remember, you're going to pick the one that you think's best for him, okay? First, it was Jenny. She'll never date a man who pours on the cologne. She says that she gets dates by stumbling in front of attractive men. And if he asks her out, she'll do anything from quiet French dinners, <laughs> okay, Evenings uh, uh, at home playing Parcheesi and, I guess, other things. <laughs> Here's how she dresses for a date. I dress nice. <laughs> I wouldn't say I dress like a bluesy because I don't, and I, I don't dress very conservatively. I'm just fashionable, what's, what's ever comfortable for the situation. All right, next, Chanel. She says that good-looking men send a chill down her spine. Now, she won't date blondes because she thinks that they're all dingy. And she claims that it's her loud voice and her thunder thighs that attract most men. <laughs> we asked Chanel what bothers her about the male species, and here's what she said. I cannot stand when a guy talks about himself. That drives me up the wall. I mean, if a guy tells me that he's got this and he's got that and he's got, you know, what kind of car he drives, where he lives, how much money he makes, what he does, that's a total turn off to me. I don't want anybody like that. I want somebody to just be themselves. All right, finally, Nicole. She doesn't like the all-American boy look or preppy guys who squeeze into tight jeans. She says men love her red hair and the fact that she has a story about everything. Nicole dated a man who turned uh, pretty obsessive, and here's what happened with him. About a year into it, it got kind of weird, and he got real possessive, and then I tried to break up with him, and he, he couldn't accept that. So he followed me and stalked me, and a lot of weird stuff. So I had to move out here to get away from him. And he's in jail right now. <laughs> However, he does know where you are because of this. Okay. So those are the three women that Matthew had to choose from. Time for you to vote. audience made its choice. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll meet the woman that Matthew selected here. Everything that happened on their date, two and two. Be right back. At you. Matthew's going to tell us who he picked. I chose Nicole. Yeah. I haven't seen each other since the date. We're always here on both sides. Say hello to Nicole Dimmer. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Chuck. <laughs> so let me see if I got this straight, Nicole. This guy's chasing you all over the country. You move out here so he can't find you and then go on television just to give yeah. him a hint. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still incognito, though. No oh. one knows where I am but my mom, kind oh. of. Well, now, after this show Bye. with Nicole, don't get me wrong. I mean, they're going to know. I know, but oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, welcome to the show. Let's see how things go. Come on, Matthew, tell me about it. Okay, so I spoke to her over the phone. I didn't want to make it a long conversation just in case I didn't like her, but she sounded cool, so I was there. We made plans. And now, did you get any impression of, from him over this kind of quick conversation? Yeah, I was really, the accent scared me because I pictured him with black curly hair, real hairy, lots of gold <laughs> chains. I just had this New York stereotype in my head I couldn't yeah. get rid of. Yeah, she did I'll have that. I'll two out of three. So, so now what happened? It's one. What's it two? I'm just kidding. I just <laughs> um, all right, so I go to her house. I pick her up. Um, before I even said anything, she opened the door. She says, hi, I broke out in rashes. I'm like, this got me kind of scared because she had rash like, all over her chest and arms. 
but were you real nervous? That's I didn't cold. think that I was, but then right when the uh, he like hives is that yeah, what you did? Yeah, hives. Oh, right. I think I've got them right now, actually. Do you? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, when the doorman buzzed him up, I just checked myself in the mirror and well, I. Well, wait a minute. Hang on just a second. Let me. <laughs> she doesn't. Do I? <laughs> yeah, I believe you do. <laughs> But you'll, you'll get rid of them, okay, all right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, did, now, did you try to get rid of it anyway, or did you just try yeah, to settle down? Yeah, I panicked, down? and I ran to the um, refrigerator, and I opened the freezer, and I stuck my head in, I opened the refrigerator, and stuck my arms in for Oh, a so kind of cooling off. And did that work? No, not at all. It made him worse. Uh, well, now, did, how did he look to you when you saw him? Did he you was like cute. Him? When I opened the door, I was just trying to get over the highs, but I was relieved that he didn't look hairy at all. He looked real L.A. and not New York. He's real cute. Well, so this is going pretty good. Yeah, huh? very good. Well, now what happened? <laughs> All right, so we went out to dinner, some, I don't know, I guess trendy place that friends told me about, because I'm not from around here, mm. so down in Malibu Beach. But we had a good time. We went out to dinner. We hung out, had a few drinks, and sat down for dinner. Mm -hmm. Now, you feeling a little calmer, Nicole? Yeah, a little bit, but his driving kind of freaked me out on the way there. He had no idea the speed limit was 55. He thought it was 65, and I guess I was the first person who ever told him that. So oh. it took me on a wild ride. Mm. Okay, it's fine. So, so you get to dinner and you're sitting there. I, how are you feeling about him? Um, I liked him, and he had told me to watch out because he drools when he eats. So I was waiting to see if he's going to drool. You don't really. Do. <laughs> no. he did. I'm a slob when I eat. I'm a slob when I eat. Are you? I like eating, so yeah. I have fun when I eat. And was he a slob when he ate? No, he flicked I a couple things of food, but so did I. He didn't drool. It was just fine. Yeah. <laughs> I kept it there. So it's going okay. Yeah, it was going okay. Now, what happens after dinner? Um, after dinner, we went for a walk on a pier because I really didn't know where else to go and the bars, I didn't know where we were, so we didn't feel like going to the bar. So we walked, take, took a walk on a pier. It was a nice evening. A little cold. We were holding hands and watching these guys fish, and I was playing with their hair. You know. Do you like hey, it? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I liked it. So you're playing with her hair? And, playing yeah. with the hair. And yeah. then he told me it was kind of dry. Kind of fuzzy. <laughs> You said that you first. Dry. I kind of she said up, that but first. He said, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I wouldn't have said it if she didn't say it. Did you like her personality? Yes, her personality was awesome. Yeah. She's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you're you're walking along there. He's playing with your hair, fondling your hair, and you're telling him he's dry and whatever. What else is going on here, Nicole? Well, after this, we went. Nothing was really happening. It was just kind of, I don't know. I liked him, but I didn't know what was going on. So we went to his house, uh -huh. and walked in there and started playing with his dog. And I was wondering if he was going to kiss me, but then the dog kept jumping up and he kissed the dog right on the lips. <laughs> so, oh boy. I was what kind of, you know. <laughs> so what did you do, Nicole? How did it end? Uh, well, he took me back home and he walked me upstairs uh -huh. and just gave me a little kiss. And that was it. That's and it. I forgot about the dog and gave him yeah. a kiss. Now let's take a look and see the audience okay. before you. Well, you guys are awesome today. Yeah. Oh, Nicole, you're I nervous. Know, yeah. yeah, well, no, you don't. I'll tell you what happens. You're like a lot of a lot of very fair skinned people. It, you can always tell when they're a little bit nervous because they get their, their skin kind of splotches just a little bit with red. You know, I guess the it's blood comes to the surface or something. It's a lot worse. Stop talking about it, it and it'll go away, I no. think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, well, let's just, instead of going to commercial, just let's just wait and see if it'll go away. <laughs> <laughs> well, not, no pressure. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the show. We enjoyed having you. Thanks. Yeah, we're going to come right back with our next guest. Stay with us.